Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu and today I'm going to be showing you what is possibly the best free mobile game, The Battle of Polytopia. The Battle of Polytopia. Let's go straight in. New game, two game settings, Perfection and Domination. I always play domination there's no time limit on that one there's 15 tribes in the game you start off with four the game is free you get the top four Zinzi, imperius bardo and umaji included with the game if you wish to buy more tribes you can do so those are the ones below i personally have bought kiku heldrick imo venger uh, none of the special tribes kiku is my favorite um i find that one the most enjoyable to play so i'm going to pick one of the ones that you'd begin with so let's go zinzi let's put my name in Stu. okay we're only going to go one opponent and we're going to leave it on easy usually when i play i'll put it on to four opponents because that's the that'll give you the biggest map size and then i'll usually put it on crazy settings but we only want to do a, a little tutorial video to begin with show you why this game is probably the best free mobile game okay let's start okay so you've been chosen to rule the zinzi tribe explore the world and expand your empire but watch out for the other tribes objective wipe all the other tribes from the face of the square there can be only one little highlander reference there so this is my area the other tribe is going to be somewhere in the clouded section um so what can we see so our territory is the red inside the red square we've got some mountains over here on this mountain we've got a ruin you can get some bonus tech off that or maybe some extra troops there's a horse there some fruit there these mountains can be mined and some forests as well each tribe starts off in its own area in its own biome and the animals fruit and the mountains and everything like that are dependent on which biome they are so i'm gonna let's just send him off that way we'll create another warrior as well if you look at the at the top where it says stars it says stars brackets plus two and underneath that five so we get two stars per turn and we've got five to begin with everything costs stars this warrior will charge us two stars if we want to buy technology that'll cost us stars as well zinzi begins with climbing technology so they are the only one that can climb a mountain to begin with next turn so our opponent wherever they are has just taken their turn so let's send him over there to explore we'll send this one down there to explore now here's our capital the only city we've got is called Pobupo, and the crown next to it signifies the capital. Two stars, so we're getting two stars from this city. There's two squares below it, and there's two black dots on the squares. So the gray squares indicates how many, how much population, how many troops this city can support. So that's one and two, and the black dots are these two troops so we're at the maximum we can't make any more so we could buy some tech but we can't really use it at the moment so let's just click on next turn so let's send him up a mountain you can see a little bit further nothing worth seeing over there again nothing there this could be difficult okay usually we'll have found another village by now but we haven't seen any so i've just unlocked what's it called just unlocked organization so that's uh harvesting fruit or whatever you've got in your biome so one of the squares below it is blue so we're halfway to upgrading this city send him down there oh what <laughs> we're on an island and there's only one city this is going to be difficult okay um let's go next turn so i can see 
this mountain is different so i know what the other tribe is just from familiarity with playing it's going to be a tribe called imo and there so i'm the zinzi tribe so obviously that's going to be that's sort of based on some sort of oriental civilization um imo is based on some sort of south american civilization in their in their biomes you'll have things like llamas and and whatever so i'm on a ruin let's examine that we'll send him over there um let's go in the tech let's get fishing we're gonna need that We've upgraded. Now we've got the choice of either a workshop or an explorer. I'm going to go for workshop because it's going to give us an extra star and we are going to need them, especially on this map where we've got one city. Usually you might have about two, maybe three on an area this size. Um, if we look in the game stats, it shows the unknown tribe. It shows two cities. Now, personally, I don't like the fact that it shows us how many cities the other tribe have got um i think that would it does give us a sort of a heads up because if we had more cities then we could reasonably guess that we've got a better economy we've got more stars coming in per turn than them so we should be able to beat it but at the moment we know that we've got less cities so we know we've probably got a worse economy so we can hold back for the moment Let's go into the tech tree and we're going to go sailing. Let's get another warrior. Examine the ruin and what's that giving us? A nomadic tribe that settles in our capital. That's good. That will give us extra three population. One, two, three, which will upgrade the city. And we're going to take the city wall because we're probably going to need to defend on this game okay so tech wise is not really what can we do we can maybe hunt in but there's only one one thing we can hunt that's the horse so let's not bother with that for the moment right let's get a port down there and get off this rock next turn now if you look at the sea there's two different color tiles light blue and dark blue light blue is shallow water dark blue is deep water at the moment this little boat can only go in the shallow if we unlock navigation we'll be able to go in the deep water but we haven't got that yet so okay so there's the border of the other tribe We've unlocked Altar of Peace because we haven't attacked anyone for a certain amount of turns. Um, so I'm going to explore for now. I don't want to. I don't think we can beat them just yet. Um, let's unlock shields. That will allow us to build a defender and well it's going to sound obvious but they are very good at defending so they are great for just chucking on a city and leaving there we can't get that so let's go into tech tree we'll get navigation and let's go on the ruin and now this one can go in the deep sea so it might be that imo the other tribe hasn't got off their little area doesn't look like they've got ships yet anyway so that might be in our favor or it will be in our favor we probably would have seen them by now
The leaders salute you. You meet Imo. Their leader salutes you friendly, but pays no attention to your tiny realm. Okay. Maybe we're in luck. So let's look at the game stats. So you can see Imo and there's a halo above his head. <laughs> that means we're at peace. So even though it's a 1v1, as long as I don't attack them, we should be okay. And they've left Kinifi unguarded. Now, they've got the halo there. If I was to, let's say, waltz into Kinifi, like I own the place. Oh, yeah, they didn't like that. Oh, oh well. Yeah, we're not at peace anymore. Right, we need to get this defender over there. But let's chuck him on there as well. Oh, there you go. So we've got the sheet, we've got the swords above it. That means we can win this town now. We can conquer them. It's now part of the Zinzi. Excellent. Now part of the Zinzi Empire. So let's put this guy over there. Seems to have got their attention. I want to get a defender on there. Cool. And now let's explore the surroundings. So that city, oh, there you go. You can work out where the city is. So if you look at this square here, so we've got a three by three square. The city is in the middle. Over here, you can see the boundary. So you've got one, two, three there. So we know this is gonna be a three by three square with the city slap bang in the middle there so if you move that there we can see it and we can shoot in and shoot him again now he hasn't moved he should have moved but There's another guy over there. Now, on a bigger game, we would be researching some other tech um, because we'd need to be trying to boost our economy, try to get us um, in such a strong position in the later game where we can just simply outspend everyone. But we're not going to need it on a short game like this. So these guys, these defenders, they're very, very good at defending, obviously. Um, they're not so good at attacking. So if you leave them there, they'll hopefully the opposition will attack you and then you can just attack them back. But if you were to just attack them straight off, it wouldn't be as effective. Gonna build a port there to upgrade the city. Um, let's take the resources and let's go. We'll go mining. We can't afford smithery just yet. Let's click on recover, so he gets his health back, but he can't move. Oh, that was a mistake. So. 
He's lost a defender. He can't afford to buy another one. So he's had to put the little warrior there. And we might be able to beat the warrior. No. As I said, they're not very good at attacking. No. Swordsman. Okay, let's recover next turn. And he's left it. That's shocking. It is easy mode. So what can you expect? They, they ran away. Ran away into the clouds. There you go. We conquer it. You've captured the Imo capital. All their trade connections are cancelled until they regain control of their capital. But because we've taken all their cities, we've destroyed them. Blood. Okay. So we'll click finish game. Very, very slow. Took me 29 turns. I mean, most of that is because we were stuck on a different island. Um, battle skills, not great. Two units lost. Obviously, 100%. We've only got one tribe to defeat. Easy mode. Final rating, 59%. I'm not really that interested in in the scores. I usually get two stars when I play. Usually get 80s to 90s. Um, it's very rare I get three stars. But I never play for particularly quick games. Um, so I've had this game for a couple of years now. It is one of my favorite games on mobile. I first downloaded it ahead of a holiday that we were going on. I was looking for some games to play on the plane and just in case I woke up weirdly early and, and everyone else was asleep. And I was looking for something similar to Advance Wars that I had on the DS. And um, this is very similar. It's a great game. It's a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.